All right, for this assignment to get us in the holiday gift giving spirit, we will be drawing a gift bow. All right, this is a color pencil assignment. Um, so you'll need your color pencil set. And actually, you'll really only need two colors plus white and black. Um, you'll also obviously need a pencil, a paper. Um, so <clears throat> let's get started. All right, before we talk about color, we need to talk about shape. So if you look at our bow, um, it, it at first glance looks really, really complicated, right? You've got all of these loops kind of overlapping and they're all sticking out, you know, in kind of a star pattern. But if you really, really break it down and take it each loop at a loop, what shape are we dealing with? It's a cone, that's it. Cone, 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 cones. Cones every, every, everywhere. So before we construct our bow and talk about layering our color pencil, color colored pencils, um, let's practice drawing a couple of cones. So if you look at it, um, there are there are a couple of types. So there's a type where you can see the opening in the bottom, and then there's a type where you can see the opening in the top. So we're going to practice both of those because we'll be using both of those in our bow drawing. So to start our cone, we start with a curved line. Draw a triangle shape, and then another curved line. That's it. That's all. That's the cone. Um, so this is one where you're looking at it straight on, right? You can't see inside the cone. You can't see in the top. So let's practice a couple of others, and then we're going to actually add color to these examples. So I'm going to draw this one to where we can see in the bottom. So I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm going to draw a curved line going the other way. Then I'm going to complete my cone, okay, complete my cone, and the top of this one we want to be parallel to this one. You guys know parallel lines run next to each other but never intersect. So that means it's going to bow this way, right? If this one's going this way, this one has to go this way. Now in this cone, we'll be able to see kind of up underneath there. So to complete it, we're just going to draw another curved line and add an oval right there. There you go. Cone example number two. So let's do the final cone. This cone is the one where you can see in the top but can't see in the bottom, okay? And for this one, I'm gonna start with the top. So I'm gonna draw an oval, okay? An oval, and that's gonna serve as the opening to our loop-de-loop -loop from our bow. And then from the top, I'm gonna draw a cone shape down, and then I'll complete it right here. So these are the three basic shapes that we're going to use to construct our bow. Um, let's get into the color pencil, color pencil layering and then we'll um, get started on the actual bow. All right, let's talk about color pencil for a second. So at the beginning of the video, I just said that you needed colored pencils, paper, um, an eraser, um, and a pencil but you don't actually need too many colors for your bow. So the first step is you need to decide what the home color is. So what is the color of your bow? I'm gonna mimic my gold one here, so that means I'm picking yellow. Your bow can be have a purple home color, it can be red, it can be green, it doesn't really matter. What does matter is once you've selected your color, that color will select your second color, okay? So let's, we're just gonna work with yellow since that's my example. So whenever we pick our shadow color, which is the next color we're talking about, so my bow's gonna be yellow, the shadow color is going to be the complementary color to the color of your bow. So my bow is gold, which is yellow, and the complementary color to yellow is purple. If you remember on a color wheel, I'll flash it up, right? there. Um, complementary colors are across the color wheel, are across the color wheel. So since my bow is yellow, I needed to pick purple. If you pick blue, what will your complementary color be? It'll be orange. If you pick red, what will your complementary color be? It will be green, okay? So you need your color and your complementary color. And then the other color you absolutely need is black, um, is black. And black is regardless of what color you choose your bow to be, it'll be black. And then the white is optional for blending if you want to, but it is completely optional, okay? 
We're gonna start with our home color. Um, in this project, it, we're going to layer color pencils. So we're gonna layer it, and then we're gonna layer it again, then we're gonna layer it again. So we'll start with our home color. And what you're gonna do, if you look at the bow, it's essentially, we're gonna kinda do these stripes or these strips that you see that's caused when the light bounces off the bow. So with our home color, I'm just lightly coloring right now. I'm gonna add a few. Here is the key. You do not want to color up, cover up all of the white space, okay? If you cover up all the white space, then you won't be able to see the light reflecting on our bow. So just make sure that you're not covering up all the light space. But I kind of do a little bit of yellow here, a little bit of yellow there, right? And I'm pressing kind of light. I'm not pressing very hard. You can see it's not super dark. Um, and then once I get done with my home color, then I'm gonna move on to my complementary color. So mine's purple, because purple is complementary to yellow. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna start kind of adding some dark uh, low lights, I guess technically, they're not highlights. And I'm gonna color over the yellow a little bit, right? Color over the yellow a little bit over here. I'm trying to make sure it looks nice and even. So you might wanna go slow. We'll go over here. Again, be sure to leave, be sure to leave some light, some light, okay? Some light. So I'll put a strip of my complementary color here and I'm just coloring directly over my yellow. Uh, let's do some over here, right here. Layer, 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 layer. All right, now we're gonna go back to our home color, our home color. So I'm gonna start building up some of this color. I'm gonna go over a little bit of the yellow that I've already done. I'm gonna go over some of that, um, some of that complementary color, my shadow color. I'll add just a little bit here, a little bit there. For sure, I'm going over where I colored with my complementary color. That is absolutely a must to layer that, okay? So once you've added your home color again, then we're gonna go back with our uh, complementary color and we're gonna add a little bit more, a little bit more. So I'm just looking right now to kind of build up those dark spots, those dark spots, make them a little bit darker by layering. Let's add a little bit of dark on this one. Make sure we're not neglecting up here. Make this one a little darker. Definitely over here too. And you should start to see, you should start to see those highlights coming through on your bow, on your bow, on your, well, your cone. This isn't a bow yet, okay? Just like that. Then we're gonna go back with our home color. I told y'all we were layering. This time I am really kind of scrubbing it in. I don't know if you can hear it or not, but I am really, really adding color. And I am purposely, purposely leaving some white, purposely leaving some white, some nice light color. I'm gonna really scrub it in right there. Really scrub it in. Right down here, make sure the coloring is nice and even because if you look at our bow, it's not light on one end and dark on the other. All right, do you know which one we're gonna do next? We're gonna go do our complimentary color. More layers, building it up even more. Adding some nice dark stripes to really, really show. Whenever you want your light to look lighter, you make your dark darker. I know that that's like, oh wow, I never really thought about that. But if you want your light to really, really stand out, then you need to make sure that your dark is dark enough to do so. Okay, let me go around here, add a little bit. We're gonna do one more layer with our home color. Again, really scrubbing it in. 
making sure that I'm leaving, leaving some of that lightness, leaving some of that lightness here. And then one more time with our complimentary color. I told y'all we were gonna be layering, told y'all we were gonna be layering. One more time with that complimentary color, making sure that my color pencil's nice and smooth, going over spots that aren't quite up to par. And once we have done that final, I don't know, we've done it, I don't know, what, three or four times now? Now we're gonna use the black. So the black we're gonna use sparingly. Um, we're not gonna use it a ton, and we're gonna put the black already on, on where we have already darkened up our cone. So I'm gonna pick a couple of spots Again, you don't wanna to go too much with the black because it'll really overpower the yellow and you'll lose all of these highlights. So if you notice, I'm just kinda of going, going through, adding a little bit in some of the spots where I already had some dark color. And then if you want, you can very gently, carefully kind of trace over it. I've got some kind of rough edges up here. So I'm gonna use my black and trace over it. Actually, I'm gonna make this a little darker. I want this one to be like some of these really, really dark strips right here. A couple little stripes there. And we have a completed cone, right? You can see we try to match all of these lovely stripes. Um, I'm going to do one more quickly. Um, I won't probably even talk through it. I'll, I'll speed it up just to go through the steps again. Uh, first, I need to sharpen my pencil. Um, so I, again, we are only using three. Oh, I can show you how to use the white too while I'm sharpening this. If you want to use white, some of you like to blend, 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 blend. You can use white in the areas that you have light color. And I know it's hard to see on the camera, but what it's doing is, it's just making it a little smoother. It's just making it a little smoother, okay? The white is absolutely optional. You don't have to do it. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly do this one, quickly do this one.
hey, I th I think I think we're good to go. We've got um, we've practiced our value scale. We've done a couple of cones, um, layering our color pencils with our home color, our complementary color to that color, and then black. Um, I think we're ready to construct our bow. Before we start coloring our bows. I would like to practice making a quick value scale using the color pencils that we've got, okay? So if you remember, value is the lightness or darkness of color. Um, and in this bow, if you look here, we've got all kinds of the, these shadows that make it look rounded and make it look metallic. So we need to practice that a little bit with our color pencil before we start adding it here. So to do our value scale, we're, we're not gonna use white for this, we're gonna set white aside. We're just gonna use the, the home color you picked, it's complementary color and black. Um, you're gonna start with the lightest color, which in my case is yellow. And to do my value scale, I'm just gonna pick somewhere off, off down in the paper. And I'm gonna start, and I'm just gonna kinda add a little bit of yellow, okay? It'll be light as I move towards the center, I'm gonna start pressing a little bit harder. See how it's getting a little bit darker? It goes from light to dark. Remember, value is the lightness or darkness of color. And I'm gonna continue that a little bit, but I'm going to pick up my next color because I'm creating a value scale using all the colors in my bow, just so I kind of get an idea. So once I have kind of a little miniature value scale in yellow, I'm gonna pick up my shadow color, which is the complement yellow, which is purple. And I'm gonna start adding a little bit right here. So if you look, I'm pressing really, really lightly, but I'm coloring that in. Towards the end of that yellow, I'm gonna start pressing a little bit harder, just right here. And that's gonna make it look like that yellow kind of morphs, it's kind of getting darker, okay? Now, fun fact, when you mix a complementary color with its, uh, when you mix two complementary colors, you get a brown color, and that is regardless of which ones you use. So I'm gonna color that purple in there a little bit to make that value scale. And then my final color will be black. So very, 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 very lightly, I'll color some black right over the top of that purple. And then I'm gonna continue it out. And as I go out using a bunch of pressure, I'm gonna start coloring darker and darker and darker and darker. Okay, now usually a value scale, you're only using one color, um, but we're, we're ready to move on from that. So we created a value scale using all of the values that we're going to be using in our drawing. From light yellow to dark yellow, from light purple and yellow to purp just purple, and then all the way back to black. And then you can really, if you want, go in and make that value scale end up in the darkness, in, in, that, in that black color, okay? So this is kind of a, a, a quick little guide to help us when we start adding value to our cone shapes. I'm not making this part a requirement, but it is good practice. I would recommend practicing uh, because that's how you get better at everything you do. So now let's start adding. I'm going to show you how you're going to add some value to these individual little cones. I've got a fresh sheet of paper here and I am ready to start drawing my bow. So the bow is just a series of those cones that we drew. So it's not very complicated at all. So right in the center of your paper, start by drawing a rounded rectangle shape. Okay, a rounded rectangle shape. Now remember to draw it light until you get it right. So draw it nice and light because we'll be erasing some of this, okay? Now let's convert this into a set of three cones. So if you remember, the cones have a rounded top. So I'm gonna start right here on this one. I'm gonna draw a rounded top and then I'm gonna have my cone go all the way into the middle right here and then have a rounded bottom right? Cone number one. We'll draw the inside of this cone here in just a second. So let's move up to the next corner. So same thing right up here. I'm going to draw a rounded line and I'm going to draw this cone right back here. And this one's going to be kind of behind this one, all right? Kind of behind this one. So I'm going to start I'm gonna start that process by drawing my curve line, but I'm not gonna go through that cone that we just did. And then our final one is right over here. Same thing, a curved line. And then I'm gonna have it go down to right about here and draw another curved line, all right? Now, 
On these, we won't be able to see the inside of the cone, um, but we will be able to see kind of the insides of these loops. So you've got to decide which one is on top. It's looking like this one is going to be all the way in the back. So I'm going to draw that curved line. I'm just going to kind of have to kind of have to look, use my best judgment, right? We'll finish with this one, or we'll not finish, but we'll go to this one. So completing that circle. And then finally, we'll do this one, and this one will be the one that's on top, okay? Now I'm gonna go through with my eraser, and where all of these lines are overlapping, where you wouldn't be able to see them, I'm going to erase it, okay? And I'm even going to erase some of these guidelines. and then go over it with your pencil if you need to, if you've erased a few things. There we go. It kind of looks like, what does this look like? It kind of looks like a set of those, you know those little cups that you can buy to rinse your mouth when you brush your teeth? Uh, that's kind of what this looks like. It looks like a little pile of those. All right, now, we're gonna build the rest of the bow on top of the center. So this is gonna be our center. So to build the rest, it's, it's not complicated at all. In fact, it's the same exact shape that we've been doing. So we're gonna put cones in each of these three sides. So right here, so do you see these places? That's where we're gonna put cones. So I'm gonna go right up here, start with my curved line, and then I'll draw my cone, okay? Go right here. Start with a curved line, draw the cone. And then finally, let's put this one out a little bit. Curved line, cone, and cone. Okay, now let's look at these. We need to draw the inside of the loop. So I'm just gonna draw that curved line right there. This one we won't be able to really see. We'll be able to see a little bit right in there. And then this one goes right about here okay second layer of the bow now we're gonna do we're gonna do that step two more times where we add some cones around the cones we've already got so I'm gonna go right up here kind of above my original cone that I did oh I want to I want that a little further back right here so curve line cone Okay, just like that. If you notice, I didn't complete it because we're gonna draw the inside of that loop. All right, over to this one, curve line, cone. Okay, over to this one, curve line, cone. Now let's draw the inside loop-de-loops. These we'll be able to see all the loop-de-loops -loops on these. So we'll start by drawing our curved line that way. Then we'll draw the curved line that way. This one too. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's do that one more time, one more time. And we're gonna center these over these three right here. So I'm gonna take my pencil, go right up here, curve line, Cone, curve line, cone, curve line, cone. Okay, so let's draw the inside loop de loops. Loop de loop here, loop de loop here, loop de loop here. Loop de loop there. This one will have it down a little bit lower. Loop de loop, loop de loop. What do you think? Do you think we need to do one more? I think we need to do one more. We need to do one more. Uh, so I'm just gonna pick a couple on this one. I'm not gonna necessarily line it. I'm just gonna kind of pick up a couple spots where there's a hole. So I think there's a hole here and a hole here. So I'm gonna draw a curved line, do a cone, and then this one, it'll be all the way in here. Okay, um, where do I see another one right here? Curve line, cone, cone. There's that one all the way in there, if you can see it. 
I think, what do you think? I think that that makes my bow look pretty, pretty good, okay? So I'm gonna go through here just one more time. Some of these guidelines in the middle. Erase them. All right, we are ready for color. Now we're gonna take all of our practice doing our cone and apply it to our bow. So whatever your home color is, you're gonna start. Now I'm gonna speed this up because it's really the same step through all of them. And then I'll kind of explain what I'm doing through text. But just like we did with the cones, we're gonna add layer upon layer upon layer upon layer. So let's get going.
All right, ladies and gents, we have finished our bow. I hope you had a good time doing this. I actually had a lot of fun. Um, I can't wait to see your finished project.